have heard us make reference to the term no-go zones. These are urban areas in Sweden allegedly so overrun by migrant violence that even police are instructed not to patrol there. Adam spoke extensively about this with a veteran Swedish police official. His response may come as a surprise. That concept to me, I've been working in the, the, the most vulnerable areas in Stockholm. I've been working there for 18 years. We don't have a no-go zone in Stockholm. In my opinion, we don't have a no-go zone in Sweden. Uh, there are people that are using these words to describe something that, in my opinion, I don't think they have been here. And if they have, and consider it's a no-go zone, maybe they should go and look outside of Sweden. Because we can go here any time of the day, the, the evening or the night, mm -hmm. and do our job. Yeah. And we do. As a professional working in these areas, I can see the, the connection that when people are fleeing from conflicts in the world to safer uh, areas, mm -hmm. and for example to Sweden and to, uh, to Botkyrka where, where I work, uh, that all also creates a pressure in society because people are living in uh, uh, taking care of family for example. That can mean that in an apartment uh, with three rooms, meant for one family, maybe there are two or three families living. And we can see how that uh, makes that people feel that something is happening, but it doesn't, it doesn't feed organized crime in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, the conflicts that I can see, where violence is used and where we see the most guns and the most narcotics and the most uh, money, that's not people that came here as migrants uh, in the last four years. Coming up, we'll hear from another expert on why he believes it is so significant that right-wing parties are now considered the main opposition voice in some European countries. We'll be right back. You're streaming CBSN.